Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at render textures in HCRP. In case you're not familiar with this concept, render textures allow you to render a specific camera view in a canvas. So before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. One of the great things of render textures is that they allow you to render a object from a scene into your canvas and you know it will behave dynamically um, and that's one of the great things so you know think of pretty much any fighter that just renders um, characters in their menu selection that move that animate um, and you know they do so without having a background now this is incredibly easy to do in built-in render pipeline and for some reason unity has chosen to make it quite difficult to do this in HCRP. I couldn't find a video on this and had to delve through several forums to actually find the right answer and even then it's slightly trickier than you might imagine it to be. So we're going to start off by creating a new camera. There we go. Um, we're going to drag that out a bit. Let's rotate it. And yeah, there we go. Now, I'm only interested in this actual object, um, nothing else, so obviously I don't want to display the background here and any of the other objects. So one of the ways to do this is by selecting um, our ball here and adding a new layer. I'm just going to call it object. The name doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to uh, select object here yes change children and now this is going to be the only um, object including the base um, that is going to be um, in this layer and that's the goal so in uh, our camera here um, when we select color mask we're going to do nothing and then we're going to do object so as you can see in the preview this is everything we want to render now we still need to have a transparent background as well, and um, we'll go over that in a bit. So first off, let's create a render texture. Um, I'm only going to change size here, which basically is um, quite similar to resolution in a way. Um, I might be wrong with st <laughs> that statement, but it's um, I found out it acts the same. So then we're going to select our camera, our render texture and we're going to drop this in target texture. Now when we select our new render texture we see only this object. Don't worry about the uh, aliasing, we can have a look at that later. Um, but again we still have our background here. Let's create that canvas so we can actually display this. Going to do a, uh, a simple um, 1080p background there we go I'm going to switch once just to make sure it's updated the scale there we go and I'm going to add an image which is going to be our uh, uh, background there we go and I just downloaded a, uh, a random wallpaper um, that I found on, uh, on Google it doesn't really matter there we go. We can turn off um, lighting here to make sure that um, we don't have that annoying bloom effect. And then we're going to add another object. And this time we're not going to add a normal image. We're going to add a raw image. So there we go. And we're going to drag in our render texture. Set native size. So we have the thousand by a thousand. And yeah, pretty cool. But as you can see, obviously I wouldn't want um, you know, the sky to be behind it. Now, in default render pipeline, it really was this easy. We basically switched to color um, and then just turn down the alpha. And that was it. Now, as you can see, that's not working. So um, we need to take a couple of extra steps. So first things first, um, let's go to edit, project settings, and then in um, HCRP, um, when we go to HCRP uh, default assets, we need to change this to 
um, this color buffer, uh, buffer format. Um, I'm doing the same here as well. Not entirely sure if this is necessary, but it does help. Then um, we need to make sure that when we go to the raw, uh, the, the render texture, that we select um, the same and then uniform. There we go. And now the important part, which is something that <laughs> Um, I didn't think about at first is when we look at quality, we will see that um, we're on medium quality by default. So meaning to say that we still have to change medium quality to the right one as well. And suddenly the background is gone. Um, let's make sure we do that for low and high quality as well. Now, as you can see, high quality was already on that setting and suddenly we are without a background. And yeah, that's it. That's literally what we would like to achieve. Now, when it comes to um, anti-aliasing, um, we can turn it on here. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really do much. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't really do anything. Um, and when we have a look at our game view, um, we can turn it on on the camera. As far as I'm aware, um, it does seem to help. And then when we go into play mode, um, you know, aliasing is uh, is improved. Um, we can change these uh, these settings. So just mess around with it. Um, but yeah, it it does help a bit. Um, doesn't seem to be perfect. But yeah, you know that's something you should mess around with. But yeah, as you can see, it's a uh, it's a couple of extra steps. Um, quite annoying that we have to do this really, um, especially. Uh, considering how easy it used to be in the just the default render pipeline um, but hope this helps you um, it really would have helped me if i would have uh, seen this before so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one